Hello, welcome. Playing that World of Warcraft private server warming. Uh, vanilla. We're playing on vanilla. This uh, server will progress from vanilla to Burning Crusade and then to Wrath of the Lich King. Um, like in the same kind of pace as like it did originally. So uh, we're past on Carage Raid, if you know what that means. Good for you. <laughs> and we're almost, we're opening the Dark Portal. So there's weird shit happening. Like there's a dungeon floating outside of Orgrimmar, the Noxtramas dungeon. This is all like signs of the Dark Portal opening. The wizard of Noxtramas is now in his little flying fortress above the city. But we're just in Tarn Mill requesting, and we're waiting for a fourth player who will join us. We have played Doom with. Yep, Prime Rogue. Primer Rugger sucks ass. Primer Rugger, yes. Healing spells, leather. I can't even use that, uh, so pass. Peter, Primer you... Rugger sucks ass. Kevin sucks ass, too. <laughs> Kevin. Wow. <laughs> he made a custom one. Another one. Custom one. All right, so it's any of these cougars that are here, right? Or which one do they want? Mountain lion. Um, Specifically the in their 50s, you know, female cougars. That starving mountain lion. <laughs> We got two out of ten. This shall not take long. That one count. That's weird. Why are they? Aggro, aggro. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, getting that mountain lion blood. Three out of ten. So, uh, welcome to Sears Co-op. This is Smokescreen. We're joined by Sirius, as usual, who is Goulash, and then Rugor, who is Pee Pee Paws, who you might know from the Doom videos. And we're going to be joined by Prime Rugger. Um, he's made a druid, apparently. Um, oh, here he is now. Hello, Prime Rogue. Right on cue. Primer right Rugger sucks cue. ass. Kevin <laughs> sucks ass. Primer Rugger sucks ass. <laughs> yes. Primer Rugger sucks ass. Yes, he does. He's got it on a hockey now, it sounds like. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> that Shut was off! a pretty epic. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> that was pretty epic. Welcome from Sir Potts. Oh, hello Sirius, hello Smokescreen, how are you doing? Doing good. We're just practicing this, like, team, like, where we have the two warriors and the healer, and, like, for a while they wouldn't, they wouldn't do any, uh, protecting me. They would just let me get oh, this is a better, gang raped. <laughs> this is a better cape than I have. <laughs> I want this one. Motherfucker. Did I get it? He wants the intellect cape, motherfucker. Well, uh, do you want it? I mean, I didn't realize it's an intellect cape. I don't know. Did you look at how it looks? It's fine. No. I don't need it. Let me look at it first. I only saw that it was four four higher than the one I have on. Oh, that's, that's cool. Good. I like it. I like how yeah. he, in order to see what it looks like, he equips it so that way he can't trade it anymore. <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> that's actually cool. I forgot you could control click to see it. That's right. Need roll ninety nine. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm getting ambushed by creatures in the wild. I didn't know that happened. This is the fanciest cape yet that I've had. Let's fin let's finish this uh, mountain lion shit later, okay? We're just trying to get some mountain right. li lion blood here, but... Uh, why do only these mountain lions count? Those ones I didn't. That's weird. You don't kill them? When we get out of here, we might finish it. Just hearth it. And everywhere. Where are you at, uh, Prime? Which uh, I land? I have no idea. Are you the... in, are you a Tauren? Yeah. So you're in Mulgor, I bet. Oh, is that right? Peter came to where I was yesterday. P Peter's saying my volume is low. Is that still the case? Well, for you, I put you at 200%, so... 
Uh, okay. It, it's good, I think, but Peter probably keeps you at you know a twenty percent on purpose. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I, I I would do that too if Peter, you know, spoke. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I I say that as someone who loves that man quite dearly, but you know, you Your don't need arch to nemesis hear the, though. <laughs> you don't need to hear the nonsense. You can just, you know. Um, SHUT UP! <laughs> Leather. You can click, um, need on this shit, Peter, if you wanna, um, get, uh, actually, well, technically this would be for Rogue, but if he's not around, you know, if you wanna you get it for disenchanting. Like, the rule, though, normally, if you're playing with, like, random other people, would be, if you're disenchanting it, that's a, gre a greed roll. Cause, just cause you can disenchant doesn't mean you got claim to it, they could just sell it to you, you know? Like or to another dis disenchanter. Oh, wait, are you saying that WoW doesn't auto split loot for different people? Um, there's like a rolling system where, um, there's you can click greed, which means like you uh, there's need, which means you can use the item, and uh, then there's greed, which means you want to like sell the item for money, and then you can also pass on an item. But basically, there's like separate tiers of rolling. So if if anyone clicks need they will uh no one else clicks it then they're gonna be guaranteed that item even if they roll a one you roll like one through 100 basically if two oh, if two people click need then you have to like roll off between those two people if nobody needs it but everyone is greeting it then it you know then all those people will roll against each other on greed and if you pass that means you don't want to roll at all then how come when i was playing with peter last night um like we weren't rolling or anything like the stuff was you just can drop you can switch the mode to free for all looting if you want, but if you oh. play if you're playing with random people, that's kind of like considered rude, because that means you're oh. like you're not giving them the chance to get any loot, you know? Yeah. And then there's I like think letting so, me get stuff for my quests, probably. Yeah. Oh, and the quest items um are di are me. different. They're like individual to the the players. Like, oh. Did you guys complete the ten bloods? Uh, uh, I have six, but I don't care. Let's hearth. All right. I'm doing snouts and flanks personally. So if we hearth, uh, we're gonna go to Undercity, and right now there's like this giant fucking dude running around murdering everyone in Undercity. Where is he? You oh. gotta run away. I think he's dead, actually. If what finally... happens if you die in WoW? You just have to run back to your corpse. You don't actually lose any uh, items or anything like that. It's just you lose durability on your item a little bit, so you have to like repair it, your items. Yeah. Um, and you have to go into like ghost mode and like. Oh, uh, Peter's going to the auction house. I think. Did you want to go maybe buy some potions, Sirius? The auction house. Yeah. Wait. So, uh, Prime Rogue. So you are one of those like me, where you never played WoW. Never played WoW well until. Oh, okay. So now we have, now we have two of us. Haha. -ha. <laughs> yes. Two of I'm us finding. Now. I'm rounding up these players who've never played WoW. Although the Peter has played it. They're out there. They're rare, but they're out there. Well, I, I um. Yeah. I ahead. had never played it because I had heard it was addictive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a good reason not to play it. Yeah. I just hated MMOs for some reason. I never got into them. I don't know. I saw one one time and I was like, "What the fuck is this shit?" It looks like a game, but weird. Like a weird knockoff version of a game, you know? And I just never... I mean, you're not wrong, actually. Like, the graphics... When was this made? Well, it's old, right? 2004. So well, well, specifically, well, my thinking was like, well, this game is like a, like a washed-down version of a single-player game because it can never quite do the full story-on-type quests of a single-player game because everything has to be kind of, like, made to work in... MMO world, you know, for everyone, you know, interacting together. So you know what I mean? So they couldn't have like the yeah. the focus of the quests in a single player game. So that's why I was always like, fuck that shit. I'm never gonna where'd you guys go? I was gonna take you to the auction house, but then I realized I'm an alchemist. I can literally brew these fucking potions that you're about to oh. buy at the auction house. So I just I went to my bank to get the uh ingredients to brew some potions. What the hell is a bank? Uh it's a place with more storage slots for you to put your things, basically. How do you get a bank? You have to just go to the nearest capital city, which... When you first start the game, you like, every... 
class, every race or whatever, has their little uh, starting zone, which is like super low level. It's a yeah. little, little microcosm world where you're like just running around in your little first little town and you kill these little basic enemies or whatever. And then eventually. Yeah, battle wars and whatever. Yeah, and then eventually you'll get a quest that says go to a nearby town and then it'll lead you out of that little first area. And then you get to Bloodhoof Village. Have you made it there yet? No, I'm still doing the beginner quest. Um, and then Bloodhoof Village is like there's an equivalent of that secondary town for every race. Um, oh, and, and then, they'll all have a bank. And well, no, and then and then there's the third one, which is like they'll lead you to the first capital city, and like the the capital city's like um, like so you're in a zone called Malgor, and then like that's oh. when so first you go to Bloodhoof Village, and then they'll send you on quests in Malgor, and eventually they'll be like go to the capital city, which is also still in Malgor. And then eventually you'll get a quest that says go to the next zone, which is next to Mulgore or whatever. Mm. So they kind oh, of yeah. like, it's a pretty good progression. Like they step you from no awareness of, you know, like they don't want to overwhelm you. So they're always like baby stepping you through these pro these different tiers of, you know, like first you're in the uh, tiny place, then you're in the zone. And now you realize there's more than one zone. And then you're like, then you realize, oh, there's actually more than one continent. And, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, just out of curiosity, like, if you're doing the whole walking or running around the world thing, how long would it take to get to my podunk little area to the next village, yeah. to the capital? Like, if you ran straight there, just like five minutes or something. Oh, so it's it's really all close together in relative terms. Um, it's not like it's not like a day's hike or anything. Uh, no, pro maybe ten minutes, like. I don't it's it's more what slows you down is running into enemies on the way and like um, if you're lower level then higher level enemies will attack you at a longer range so when you're like running through a low level zone as a high level character nothing will attack you but if you're running through a you know like uh, if you're level 5 and then you're going to the capital city then things are like level 10 around you then they will attack you so you'll be like try to stick to the roads but they'll still come running at you um, and any player can attack you at any time correct? Uh, no. So, oh. at the very beginning of the game, they give you a little bit of baby mode where uh, you're in these controlled zones and your uh, your character's, like, not flagged for PvP. Um, okay. And then later you go into contested zones where, like, there's actually two... Because there's two factions, Alliance and Horde. Um, mm -hmm. And they'll actually have, like, multiple cities. Like, they'll have an Alliance city and a Horde city in a, in a zone. And so then there'll be, like, Alliance players questing in the same zone as you doing their own quests from a different town you know but then you'll, oh. you'll be doing your quest in that same zone so and then also when you're in a contested zone you're automatically flagged for pvp and so okay. then, then but it's and like those are like does it warn you before you go into one um yeah when you go into the zone it'll show the name of the zone and underneath it it'll say contested zone and then you also your name do you see your name above your character yeah uh wait Sometimes you might have to enable it, but like under um, in uh, you open options and then you do interface, uh huh, and then um, options. there's actually a category called names. Uh, do you see yeah. that one? And there's one that yeah. says my name, my name. yeah, is that one NPC on? Names. Okay, yeah, got it. So my name should then it then you can kind of tell if you're flagged for PvP or not because your name above your head will be blue, but if you're in, in a contested zone, it'll be green because it's indicating. Oh, I like that. You'll know yeah. like, and then actually once you leave a contested zone, you will still be flagged for five minutes, and then you'll have like a timer counting down. Yeah. And then. In um, go ahead. Sorry. No, there's you're gonna say some other game or something. Well, yeah, in Entropia Universe, which is, like, the only other um, MMO I've played a lot, you, like, own your stuff, right? It's, like, like owned assets, like, that you could sell for real money. So, as you're going into a PvP zone, there's, like, a double, like, redundancy system, where first it warns you that you're about to enter a PvP zone, and second, all the PB, PvP zones have this like, the, toxic... In this, by the time you enter, you're already flagged, and then you're like, oh shit, I better run back out. Nope, too late, they're murdering you in the... Oh, no, the, the other one has an even more interesting feature, is that, it, like, they're, like, these vending machines all around the world where you go fill up on ammo and stuff. Um, you have to buy, like, an injection to protect you from the toxin. Otherwise, you die as soon as you go into the PvP. 
What because I fuck? guess too many people were going into PvP by accident and losing like uh, losing like not NFTs because they're not on blockchain, but losing items that could cost like dozens or hundreds of dollars. Ah, uh, yeah. So you can't actually Holy lose shit. anything in this. In uh, that reminds me more of like Ultima Online, where people would just like wait yeah. for you outside town and gank you and exactly like that. So they they wanted to kind of prevent that. So they uh... serious. Let's go. Let's go to the to the other. Let's go to the Zeppelin. Or armor. Holy shit, pretty, how do I get there again? Pretty sure that Peter's following me, like he set his orc to follow mode. <laughs> oh, I see. I have, it seems like I have two more beginner's quests to do. I'm currently level, uh, where do I see my level? Oh, level seven. It's pretty so, low. So, um, you have your, like, a EXP bar at the bottom of your screen, right? The, the bar, purple or whatever? Uh, yeah. So if you right click that, you'll notice that on this server it says 5x default. Yeah, I saw something in the chat about how it's boosting the XP because of the server transition or something. Is that it? Uh, it used to be 3x and then put it up okay. to 5, but in even 3 is already, you know, extra. So Yeah. But so normally you would have, like, by the time you've done every quest in your starting zone, you'd only be like level 4 or 5 or something like that. Maybe. Oh. And uh, so now you're going to reach like the levels sooner. Um, and so you don't have to do every quest because of this faster EXP gain kind of, which it makes it kind of more f fun in the sense that you don't, you don't have to do everything. You could just do the quests right. that sound interesting yeah. or fun. Of course, is there any I would do it in 1x. <laughs> is there any point in keeping stuff like tough hunk of bread, tough jerky and refreshing spring water if you're a druid? Um, that food stuff. Um, I would just sell it, but uh, the point of the food is kind of like your health regenerates and your mana regenerates between combat, right? Yeah. But then sometimes uh, you want it to regenerate even faster, so you would sit to eat the food. Um, oh. I think at low but... levels it's kind of so irrelevant, like you auto regen so fast that I just sell all the low level food. It'll become more Great. more useful later when you're like higher I level. Myself, like, I can heal anyway, so. Oh, especially as a druid, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like I'm, I was wondering what this food was for because like I'm barely taking any damage in combat, so why the hell would I? Um, why would I also even bother? Like later, there's uh, food which has buffs where uh, you get like a well fed bu uh, bonus buff if you oh, okay. yeah, eat and stuff. Better. Yeah, but the early level food and drink, I just usually sell it. Why can't I attack these stupid spirit freaks? I don't know. That's not trying to figure out. I don't know. I don't understand why. I thought maybe they're unattackable because uh, they're spirits. Did you see that bank earlier? I was going to make a comment, but you guys were. You guys wouldn't shut oh, uh, up. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I, I didn't realize. Sorry, what was in your bank? My bank is completely full of gold and, and ore and everything. Oh, yeah. We need to deal with that at some point. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> we need to deal with, like, going to town and just doing smithing for a bit, you know? I think the problem was, if I remember correctly, you have all this bronze. This one? I think so. Time is money, friend! Orgrimmar, yes. Um, you have a bunch of bronze, but, uh, bars, but your blacksmithing isn't high enough level to create bronze item shit, like, stuff yet, right? So you need to find I some think. copper, and, oh, motherfucker, I just realized something. What? Earlier, when I was telling you to smelt all that shit, you probably smelted all your copper bars into bronze bars, didn't you? I didn't know, is there anything else I can do with it, or what? Yeah, because you're never going to be able to craft bro uh, copper items if you keep turning your copper bars into bronze bars. You see the problem? Fucking shit, I have copper bars. What the fuck? You do have copper bars? Is that what I, cra I must have crafted copper bars. Okay, well, because the way it works is to make a bronze bar, it takes one copper bar and one tin bar. Come down here near us. I come down to the bottom of the ship. Oh, what? I never did give you this crap. I guess I got new ones. But basically, you need to do some uh, copper items and get your blacksmithing up into the bronze range, and then you'll be able to craft, like, you have so many bronze bars in your bank, you'll be able to go through the whole bronze tier, I think. Nice. I want to advance from from tin and bronze to iron and 
like in real life they did you know over the course of yep. 500 years yeah and the next zone we're going to two minutes i think it's like the next zone you're starting you're gonna start getting iron nodes to harvest by the way last time i jumped from the tower of the zeppelin here i lost like like 50 health i'm just gonna try jumping here and see if i die no here's you're fine yeah like yeah 30 percent i lost jump you motherfucker why won't you jump this is a baby corral look at this no, I did it. Yeah. <laughs> I think now we can probably jump from any point of the Zeppelin, even at the really high parts, because, like... It's deceptive, you know. though. Like, in some parts of the Undercity, when you're still flying towards the tower, the tower's, like, up on a hill. So then before you reach uh, that hill and you try and jump, it'll kill you. Double high. I see. Yeah. The fall damage is exponential in this, so, like, suddenly it's, like, way higher. Yep. Way higher damage. Wait, so Peter, let's just run to Malgor so you can harvest herbs on the way. How about that? Instead of going into Orgrimmar or whatever. I am doing a little job job for Peter's uh, business partner right now. Just looking into something. So you guys can take your time if you want. All right, it'll like, I'll like 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, five to 10, probably. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're going to run there then. He's gaming and doing research at the same time. Holy shit. Yeah, someone just asked me to do something, so I'm just checking it out really quick. Peter, um, do you have your herb tracking? And also, you serious? When you die, your your tracking gets reset or whatever. Oh shit! Oh yeah, and look above. There's Nox. That's what I was talking about. Nox from us. That's the dungeon. Yeah, yeah. It's floating out yeah, here. Evil, evil, uh, flying pyramid of the evil wizard. Pretty classic. Definitely this WoW remastered thing, though, like, textures are very nice, I gotta say. It went from, like, the blurry, cartoony graphics of the original 2004 version to, like, significantly more high. Look, look, look at this desert. Look at the texture in the desert here. Look how nice that looks. I don't even know what his name is yet. What is... Uh, oh, he did tell me. Um, name is Rugger... Nice Rugger Prime. Prime Rugger. No, Prime Rugger. Uh, Rugger Prime is my warrior... Pr uh, Rugger Prime is my warrior. Prime Rugger is my druid. I see. Because remember this morning you told me to um, try out a warrior character, or whenever you messaged me, like yeah, like it doesn't really matter. So I did that, and then I was like, oh my god, this is boring compared to my druid. Well, but you played it uh, like two minutes or something. Like how could you? Yeah, but I missed having my healing spell and my wrath. Oh, okay, fine. So the wrath thing. Uh... So the druid, they can play uh, caster damage. That's what the wrath, like uh, shooting spells or whatever. And thorns. Yeah, all that stuff. Yep. Yeah. And you can't use that stuff when you're in feral bear or cat mode. So the bear mode is how you do tanking. But then you you can switch out of bear mode and do a heal and do a, a wrath. But generally, you're not doing that. And you can play cat mode, which is like a rogue. Um. Uh, which is melee damage, um, but you can also be a spellcaster damage. So you can do ranged spell DPS, or you can do melee DPS, or you could play tank, or you could be healer. So you could do all four of those, the druid. I don't know why we went in here. Harpies and shit. Did you ever watch that movie, Prime Rogue? Uh, it had a druid girl who would turn into, like, uh, Various creatures in the movie. What? I think it was called Dungeons and Dragons or something. Oh, Actual no. movie name. I thought you were talking about one of my ex girlfriends, but uh, <laughs> I, no, I, I don't think so. It's pretty entertaining. It's pretty good. I don't. I don't really watch that many movies. Um, I think some of us may have been having a conversation earlier about uh, the latest Star Wars movies. Uh huh. And the ridiculousness of contemporary mass culture. Yes, they got pretty bad, those Star Wars movies. Yep. They really. For some reason, I, I like the eighth one 
when I watched it the first time. I actually watched it in theaters, and then I rewatched it like a couple years later, and I was like, it's not that good. Actually, not, I don't know why I thought it was. Remember thinking it was pretty good. Actually, in the theater, it was like ooh, pew pew, boom boom, explosions, loud sounds, flashes. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> pretty lame by the end and then the ninth one was just I actually watched it in theaters and thought it was terrible I'm out of range. usually when you watch a movie in theaters you have like a better experience you know because it's more like a grand presentation or whatever but it makes an even worse movie so loud better. the volume is so loud in the theater that's but, the whole point yeah, i was not impressed by it even in the theater i was like what the fuck terrible a terrible ending to a I... trilogy a uh, well What's an, an octology? No, not an octology. A nine movies would be a... A nonology. Like the, the, the newest isn't it? Isn't it a nonology? Nine Maybe is non. It ends up becoming a nonology, which means it becomes nothing. Hey, wait, end. Peter, can you not <laughs> loot I mean, this? Peter, you this can't harvest this shit? The earth root? No Holy fucking... Crap, I just did some fall damage. Fucking hell. Um, this might tell you I'm kind of a nerd, but... The Empire Strikes Back is 100% the movie I've watched the most in my life. Oh, shit. Um, it's the best one. And yes. he's like 100% 100 times I've watched it. No, because I remember growing up in, in elementary school, having the VHS, maybe even early in, like, well, there was no middle school in Canada, but, like, the equivalent of middle school. And I could recite the entire movie from beginning to end. Um, I'm not even bragging here. Cause it's, like, epically nerdy. But um, yeah, so I, I watched, I loved four, five, and six. I went to see one in theater. It's with my grandpa back in the day. I was super disappointed by it. Uh -huh. I never watched two or three. You don't like and little Anakin and the, the the Phantom Menace of flying little race? You see the little pod thing? That was pretty cool. For I remember seeing that in theaters going, whoa, the effects are amazing. But the pod race scene, I was like, holy shit, it was mind boggling. Yeah, it was I one of the first I movies with like super good CG. <laughs> I the time was way way ahead of its time, so. I feel like they really screwed up the pre-imperial period. Talking I, about I the do. fucking the lore of it. <laughs> I don't. I nah, don't feel lore like was honestly terrible, and that's that trilogy was so bad. I I feel like I don't know. That's not what I don't think that's what George Lucas would have wanted it to be. So what, but he's the one who directed those. So why did he end up making? that shit show in the second trilogy. Did the I, studios I force him into that or? I, I don't know. Cause Disney got involved around that point, right? Or was that? Really? I didn't know that. Well, Disney owns. Wait, 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 sorry. Are you talking about the 2017 one going forward? Or are you talking about the 1999 through 2005 ones? 99 through 2005. I thought that's when Disney, Disney got involved. was already involved in those? I had no idea. What I'm not saying thing? that with certainty though. Um, I'll explain why they're so bad disney's definitely involved in the latest ones though yeah all the terrible yeah, yeah. terrible um i mean i don't know it's just like it kind of ruined my the, my favorite franchise for me i could maybe rewatch the ones from 99 to 2005 like once or twice you know but the the, the newest ones i don't think i'd ever want to rewatch them really that's how bad they are yeah Peter, here's, uh, this is your. This is supposed to be your chance to harvest about... uh, herbs and level up your, your herbalism, and you just. Get your herbs, Peter. Don't run by him. He's just fucking just going straight for the fucking like a train. Choo choo, motherfucker. Here, watch this. They run a train on his ass. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm not gonna participate in that. Oh. I'm I'm good. I'm good in the hood. Um. I was gonna say at least the first movie had the cool pod racing scene, which for the time was very, very cool. That was really the best part of the movie. And then the second movie had the cool water planet, which I thought was very cool again for like CGI for 2002. Like the entire water planet scene was like very realistic. Like they really rendered this like whole water planet. Like it looked real. It looked like a real water planet. It was like really cool. And the third one had the, the whole lava cavern chasm fight at the end, you know, with the, where he becomes basically becomes Darth Vader. Yeah, you end. gotta like, be into the good. into CG and computer graphics shit, though. You know. Yeah, it's actually amazing. You can watch it between ninety nine and two thousand five in those three movies. Just how much CG was advancing each in each one of those years between those. Oh yeah, it's really cool. Massively. Just from a CGI standpoint, they're cool to watch, but like from the lore standpoint, eh, not very good.
Yeah. Jar Jar, little Jar Jar Binks or whatever. <laughs> oh God, don't remind me. I didn't <laughs> I don't even. Did I see the movie of Jar Jar in it? I don't it, know. It was the Phantom Menace one, and then they hated him so much that by the second movie, like he's barely shown because they, they realize everyone hates him. So he just has like one or two scenes quickly, and they're like, they don't want to show him because they know everyone hated him. You know, by then, I wish they cut a bunch of scenes that he would have been in. I mean, they just cut him out a lot. Weren't they saying the character was like racist or something back then? Oh, it was just annoying. It was just really annoying. Yeah. Never, never heard of Jar Jar being racist. You can't even understand what he says half the time. What the fuck? I, I remember people saying he was like supposed to be like an Asian stereotype, and it was offensive to Asians. What the fuck? No way. It's like his like language is so. It's offensive to anyone who has an word. accent and can't speak English properly, like that. You know, right? Oh uh, well. Because he's purposefully really like, uh, you know, he's talking like he doesn't know, like whatever. I'll say this: woke is broke. But yeah. I'll just say, the people who make that claim are like, they're the ones who are racist because they're now trying to attribute something that wasn't even to like, well, maybe he sounds Asian. Well, no, he doesn't, motherfucker. So, you know. You're, you're the, the one, one who's connecting the dots. Yeah. You're the one you're, you're the one that's actually being racist. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, this area. I remember. Well, this so place. Disney was a brand. When was it made? Like in the fucking 1900s, early? It's like over a 100 year old brand, so, right? So. I'm actually gonna go Disney. run. Disney, uh, wasn't Walt Disney a Nazi? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not joking. Yeah, he's Wait, like think, friends I with Hitler so. or something like. So. Or was that Henry Ford? Which one of them was a Nazi? Let me let me ask Chuck. Both, probably both. Probably all of the big names you've heard of probably all were secretly. Peter, Nazis. I'm gonna f I'm gonna run there, Peter. I don't have Camp Tarajo. Was flight path. Walt Disney a Nazi? I want to get the Camp Tarajo flight path, so... I'm also Was he a Nazi? <laughs> but the point is, it was a brand built in like a hundred years, and like... You know, yep. they had like Mickey Mouse, Steamboat Willie, or whatever, and then they had like... And destroyed... Built in a hundred and destroyed in ten or twenty. Yeah, basically, yeah. Like... It, people should teach a course in this in the future on how to destroy a hundred-year-old brand as quickly as possible. Disney is a husk now. It is a husk of a talentless garbage pile of IPs. And like in the 90s, Disney movies were like every, like parents would be saying like, oh, Dis you know, you can trust Disney movies. They all have yeah. this like a uh, certain uh, like teaching, like they're teaching good morals or whatever to their kids or whatever. They'd be okay with putting their kid in front of it. It's like whose morals are those? By the way, he was not. A Nazi. He's not a Nazi. Nazi. I'm surprised Google came back with that answer. I thought Google would tell you for sure he's a Nazi. <laughs> it's an urban legend. Um, he was anti-Semite, but he wasn't a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> I see how the connection is made there. <laughs> during, during World War II, he actually produced um, uh, propaganda films for the U.S. government, including Das Führer's Face, which ridiculed Adolf Hitler's facial features. I see. Yeah, the more you know, right? So now the Disney shows, like, like here's how Disney ruined Star Wars. The latest three movies are terrible. And, like, I don't know if you've noticed, there's, like, 15 different kinds of stupid uh, Star Wars-based shows, like cartoons and animated series. and. Oh, man, the Acolytes. It's like junk. they've... It's like the, the, so people who like own, the people who own the intellectual property are, like, they hate the original... Uh, those nerds yeah. who all love Star Wars, they hate those people, right? Yeah, but those are the people who have the money, though. Yeah, because the, 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 their new target audience doesn't actually care about Star Wars. It's like no. they want them to care, but like this Acolyte thing, they're like rewriting like the whole, uh, like the Jedi thing. It's supposed to be like the Force chooses you and you are special, right? Yeah. Well, that I don't know. Isn't it everyone has a bit of Force in them, but some people have a lot of Force in them? Kind well, of? so they don't like the idea of people being more special than others. So they're going to get rid of that, and they're going to focus on the <laughs> other other part of it. They're going to focus only on the part which says, you know, everyone can have the Force in them. That's the part, because that's the... So you're saying they're focusing on the communist part. Yeah, well, that's what their fucking message is, so that's what they, you know, that's what they think, is like, everyone's equal, everyone, that's their whole thing, right? So then they focus on that part, and so they, they don't like how it is said that people can be special and have, you know, which is why they had to basically fully cuck 
um, George, uh, not Georgia, Luke Skywalker, right? Yep. Like as an old man, old man Luke mm -hmm. Skywalker, they had to basically emasculate him, castrate him. You can just title this WoW episode in the end, you just title it, We All Become Communists Now. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna wonder what the fuck. Then you gotta watch the episode to find out what you're talking about. Well, so being, uh, you know, uh, from an Eastern European communist country, I don't know why, why we are so anti-communist to know that Americans are like, Ooh, communism, what's this? It's, I like it. Maybe it's a good thing. You know, like that. Good I luck. I am communist. Good are luck. you not communist, comrade? <laughs> good luck convincing, you know, people from Eastern European countries who had to escape that shit to want communism, you know? They know that communism isn't everyone's equal and blah, blah, blah. They know it's everyone is equal or else you're going to the gulag, motherfucker, you know? And they know that it's like everyone reporting on their neighbors and being like, yes, finally that fucking piece of shit who had a little bit more than me. I see him being extracted in the middle of the night. Yes. <laughs> and they're like, ex ex they're, they're exercising the power over their neighbors and they've that they've always wanted, you know? You live in crazy times. You know, most people don't realize that the communists killed more people than the Nazis. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's because they're told their whole lives that the Nazis are the worst, right? But it's like yeah. hundred fucking million and f that died in communism, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um. In the gulags and the engineered famine, the collectivization of agriculture. Is that all? Uh, was it all yeah. Stalin? Was that all Stalin during that it whole time? It wasn't just Stalin. It's all Stalin. That Mao, Mao guy, right, is another one. Yeah, but it started under Lenin. Killing it fields got, or whatever that was called, right? The um, the what now? Isn't that a thing in Cambodia? The killing fields or whatever, right? You gotta lead the way. I don't know where I'm going. That's, I mean, that's that's not so much communism. I mean, I wouldn't call that a byproduct of communism itself as much of authoritarianism, but same kind of general principle. But I mean, uh, I. To answer the the, 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 the seriousest question, though, um, it did start under Lenin, but Stalin sent it into overdrive. Khrushchev pretended to be um, kind of eliminating it to like try to make amends with some of the peoples in the former Soviet republics and satellite states. Um, and well, I thought Stalin was the bad one, where like oh, like tens yeah. of millions died under Stalin's yeah. rule. Exactly, he was the worst. He was the worst. Well, no, Mao was probably the worst, but Mao was in China. Now, He's not I don't in know Russia, yeah. Like Mao, but I remember that show, The Expanse, about that space show, which is pretty oh, good, recent show. <laughs> they mentioned Mao in it. They mentioned it because there's a character named Mao who's evil. Farewell. That's How funny. Wait, yes. Congratulations to Carrie. Very good show, by the way. Well, For anyone who likes space well, and sci-fi. For mini uh, in a chat room. That's amazing. What? I want a Pixel Mini somewhere. Who said that? I just got one. I don't know what these things are, but there's these that? cool NFTs on the Wax blockchain. Who that? Who's that getting my NFTs? What the fuck? <laughs> I got one in Wax Italia. A really terrible one named Niles. Oh, damn. Three strength, one agility, five endurance, three wisdom, two intuition, five spirit. But he looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, uh, a lot of people, they hear the word NFT and they're like, they run the other way. But, uh, yeah, I do have an NFT project. <laughs> so does, so does uh, Peter over here, Rugor. He's the, he's the he's the rug apes mastermind, Mr. The, Banana. This is not the time for NFTs during the crypto winter. It should only gets interest during the, the bull seasons, which is coming up. But there's people who will hear, you know, mention NFTs and then they're like, fuck, I'm unfollowing these fucking NFT rugger scammer motherfuckers, right? Yeah. But uh, Peter basically I... makes a satirical NFT collection that makes fun of all of the other NFT collections for being ruggers, rug pullers. Um, that's the whole point of rug apes. Um, and I make uh, pixel minis, which are, I'm making a game, an RPG game, Web3 game. Um, hey, why is there a quest back here 200 yards for me to turn in? Visit the Baron's border and route to turn in quest to speak with Raga. Why is it, uh, does it mean I have to transition to another area? There's a, probably a quest here you need to turn in. I wasn't even trying to... Are you sure it's not an area transition though and I have to go much, much further? No, it's right here in the camp oh, we just oh, ran okay. through. 
Oh shit, it was just literally right here. I wasn't even trying to expose you as the creator of Pixel Mini. I was just being like, oh, <laughs> I won the Pixel Mini, and I was going to pretend to play dumb. People but won't you... even know how to fucking spell it, because I don't know how to spell, so, you know. <laughs> I don't even know how to find it. Yep. I mean, now it's just, see, now look at that, now it's just 300 yards this way, man. I think it's going to keep transitioning between areas, don't you think? No, it's literally right here. 200 yards oh, is, okay. is, the, is the town. I'm stuck in this cavern area, cavernous area with all these bristlebacks. And Should have noticed this when I ran oh, by earlier. I forgot to actually. I added you as a friend, but I forgot to uh, shut up. Invite you to the party. I forgot to do that part. Oh, there we go. go. I'm in the party. How do I add him? So he's also added. Hey, uh, let's see how how good Peter Potts's um, moon bot is. Um, or whatever his body Primer is. Ugger like sucks body. Ass. Kevin sucks ass. Primer Ugger. Primer Ugger. Primer Ugger sucks ass. Primer Ugger. <laughs> Primer Ugger. Su <laughs> Primer Ugger sucks ass. Kevin sucks what? ass. Primer Ugger. Kevin sucks 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 ass. Primer A new sound there to answer my question because he only has five seconds to answer my question and I'll count it out. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Um, where is the rug token going, Peter Potts? Where in the in in the universe? What part of the universe? One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Three, Mississippi. Four, Mississippi. Oh, Are you happy with yourself, seriously? Did you get your fucking what quest turned? <laughs> I turned it. I hey, did not uh, the next pick one. up this quest here from this one here. This one here. I, I had been told it was going to Both the moon, but I guess it's not going to the moon. Melor sends it... word. Pick that shit up, because then you can turn that in at Thunder Bluff where we're going. Peter Potts, is it going to the moon or not? Ashenvale hunt. No, I'm going to decline that. I'm stupid. I've decided that when my NFT collection, whatever it is, whichever AI abomination... It is makes it big, and I make the millions. I'm gonna get a Telecaster or a Stratocaster for every day of the week. Probably just a different guitar for every day of the week, like high-end guitars like Strats, Tellys, uh, Les Pauls, whatever. And I'm gonna get a Lambo to drive the guitar from my studio to my bed. What? Yeah. Uh, Fuck off! Crazy. Shut the fuck off! He's the kind of guy who needs millions of dollars so he can, he can spend it wildly. <laughs> what else are you going to do with money other than spend it? Give it yeah. to poor people? No. I need it. It's like, I was going to give it to like 1,800 homeless, but I needed a Lambo to go between my bedroom and my, in my garage. Yeah, too many, too many fucking homeless need... people to give out money, man. That's I don't thing. even have a driver's license. Just drives it in his house inside his mansion, so it's okay. If you're, on, if you're driving on private property, you don't need a license. And what are they gonna do? They can't even come on your property unless they have reasonable, articulable suspicion. And even then, they might need to get a fucking warrant, unless they believe that someone is in risk of imminent bodily harm or death. Get out of this fucking shithole raining over here. Sorry, I had to come back here to do that, but uh, you should I, know, I missed the giant bay. arrow earlier as we were running by. Watched it go. Watched it turn around. And I, I hope you really enjoy your the six hundred experience you got for making us run back for five fucking minutes, like, <laughs> for the equivalent of killing three mountain lions. <laughs> damn it! I could always just uh, actually decline or abandon those quests, right? Yeah. Pointless quests like that. A lot of these quests in my quest log right now are like gray, but don't abandon the power to destroy. Ah, even that one, honestly, we should abandon. This is the one where we did the dungeon, Ragefire Chasm. <laughs> we forgot to turn it in, by the way, and like and at this point, like turning it in gets us 180 experience. Fuck that. Absolute shit. trash, but like you do get an item out of it, which you can sell for six silver. Hey, Incredible. hey guys, let's uh, one by one, I want to ask you. Uh, serious, are you a Chad or a soy boy? Definitely, <laughs> definitely leaning toward Chad. Oh, okay. Um, Smokescreen, are you a Chad or a soy boy? Uh, ch Chad, yes. 
But the only and, two choices, I mean, and I have a choice. Yeah, you don't, you, you have to, it's a dichotomy. It's a uh, true or false. I'm a Chad. Peter super Pot. Chad. <laughs> Peter Pod. Chad or Soy Boy? People who don't answer within five seconds are Soy Boys. <laughs> he can't talk. <laughs> He's a, Kevin sucks ass. Prime Roger sucks ass. What? Is his answer. <laughs> Prime Roger sucks ass. Oh, okay. Is that right, Soy Boy? <laughs> Can't you program your word bot to say new things? He has to go to the AI voice generator website, type the thing in, save the audio file. Take that more than five minute. seconds. Take some, little bit. Take some 30 seconds probably. Has a to prepare, you know, he's prepared ahead of time for I, Prime Rubber I sucks he, ass. Does he have anything for you guys? Or am I the only one who has that honor? No, it's, it just shut the up. Only one special enough that shut he up! Just that one. Off! Bitcoin will go to fucking zero. <laughs> Pretty good one. Pretty good because it's because it almost always wants to. It seems like whenever it starts going up, it just starts going back down again. You know, it makes you wonder. You know how it uh, went to zero. Smokescreen. You know how you'd been telling, saying how we should have a, a show where we review NFT projects, and Peter is kind of like the. Um, like the, the the like where the two like like aggro pessimists <laughs> yeah. we shit like talk the all the projects and say why they all suck and why they're fucking trying to scam yeah, you peter's the voice of reason yeah devil's I advocate pitched, i pitched peter a show idea that i like about conspiracy theories where i do all the about conspiracy theories and present him with conspiracy theories and have him evaluate them whether they're true or not we should like all do that Oh, he's not telling me to shut up now, is he? Uh, yeah, he's. He wrote, he wrote, I'm a soy Chad. <laughs> That's Fuck right. Off! He's a Chad, but he enjoys soy in his coffee. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest with you. Seriously, soy milk is not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Some motherfucker, soy to asking you for soy boy. Is a soy he... boy. The one asking the question this whole time, he was the soy. He's boy. literally no, drinking I soy. That's no, well, I haven't had soy milk since two thousand seven. He <laughs> has. I have never had soy milk in my entire life, motherfucker. <laughs> I tried. I tried all the weird milks one time just to see how it tastes. I tried the almond milk, the soy milk, all the weird shit, and they all taste so bad. I don't know how people could drink it. I don't know how they can drink it. Cow Chocolate milk is gross. Milk is fine. Chocolate milk, that doesn't count. It's still the normal milk. Chocolate soy well, milk? Is that I don't know how they get the oh, chocolate soy milk. I never tried that. I never tried Well, so do you know where milk. this whole soy boy thing comes from? It's from the fact that people realize that drinking soy gives you estrogen. Yeah, you yeah. get titties. So that's like... So I, before I went to graduate school, before I started my PhD, I went to see a, uh, a dietitian because I was pretty blatantly overweight at that point. Um, and one of the things I was supposed to do every day was drink soy milk instead of regular milk. I don't remember why, but I did it for a few months. Didn't really lose any weight, um, probably because I wasn't really following the rest of the diet. The diet was like the mod modern day equivalent of virtue signaling, basically. But then I find out that like it causes bitch tits when I went to see another dietitian down there. And I'm like, I ain't drinking this shit no more. The fuck? Um, and uh, Peter just wrote, I'm sure Prime got bigger titties than me. I'm not sure. I mean, I've lost a hundred I'm not sure. Me. I've lost a hundred pounds over the last year and a bit. Oh shit, that's good. No more like, titties. I got fat. I got fat in the last two years. Like, I'm down from, like, at my highest weight, I was probably 300 and... Holy shit. 70 pounds. Now I'm down to about 280, 270. Aren't you... Uh, how I'm, tall are you? Aren't you, like, 6'5 or 6'4 or some shit? I'm almost 6'4. Oh, so, damn. So you Yeah, so I'm fatter than you. Maybe. I don't know. I I, I used to wear a, a triple... I'm 250. I'm 250 and I'm 6 foot. I'm fatter than you. Maybe. I mean, uh, what size shirt do you wear? XL. Well, no, I can't. I cannot fit my body into an XL for the life of me. Oh, I see. Um, I was wearing a three X tall. Holy now, shit! Now, now I wear. I mean, I'm lying. I could probably fit into an XL tall just fine, but I wear a two X or a two X tall. 
because I like it a bit baggy, but not too baggy. A shop of big and tall. Yeah. Six for four. Problems. Shop on Amazon, yo. That's true. Yeah. If you fit into an XL, you're not you're not bigger than me. That's for sure. Depending on the past, those people uh, who are tall, they would have to go to the big and tall men's store somewhere, you know, specifically. Oh yeah, I've I've had to go to the big and tall men's store. It's uh, a place I've only heard of. I've never had to be, never had to go. And it really sucks because your choice in clothing is kind of limited, and um, there's a social variable at play because since African Americans are more likely to be overweight uh, because of various socioeconomic factors, apparently. Um, a lot of the clothing sold in big and tall stores is either formal wear or hip hop wear. What? I, I would have never thought of that. Holy shit. Um, and oh, yeah, fuck. I'm not a big fan, fan of hip hop wear. I thought you'd just go into a warehouse and it'd be some like they hire some specifically tall dude who's like, you know, he's he, you know, to show off that hey, I'm big and tall. Check our, our selection of big and tall. Casual wear, you know? Most of the people who work in the big and tall stores are tiny women. It's weird, because, like, so they have, like, a big and tall section here in Alaska all the time in clothing stores, but it's it's never hip-hop. It's, like, Carhartts and shit like that, because all, oh, the, yeah. because all the big because dudes you... here are fucking oil rig workers and fucking yeah. giant rednecks. <laughs> Lumberjacks and shit. <laughs> the reason all my clothes are Carhartt is because I would buy Carhartt online... Because the the um, big and tall store was not an authorized Carhartt distributor in Canada. Authorized Carhartt distributor is Canadian Tire via is its menswear store uh, Marks or something. And uh, so um, I had to order it online. But I uh, like I own like sixteen Carhartt shirts, two or three Carhartt winter jackets. Carhartt and is like a pretty big brand here in Alaska. Like, oh yeah, half I mean, the people great. here are wearing that shit. You know, it's really high quality stuff. What? Yeah, I, well, I always had this impression in my mind that when you go into a big and tall store, be like, what's that guy from that uh, series of unfortunate events? The narrator guy. He's got the deep voice. He's like this really big tall dude. He's like, he's definitely big and tall. That actor. You know what I'm talking about? Huh? If you ever saw that series of unfortunate events show, it was. But his name. He's like, but you would definitely narrator. recognize him if you heard him or saw him. Huh. I thought a guy huh. like that would be standing in the store and he'd welcome you and like, welcome to the big but he's store. But he's the narrator, so we've never seen him. If all well, no, they show him, like he's a, he's a shown on screen narrator. Oh. I mean, if only it was like that, but no, it's like a bunch of small, rude women. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. That show was very excellent, by the way, if no one here has seen it. The I best always, shows. I always feel weird about buying. Oh, who's that? Rogor is here! Yay! I always feel we weird. found you. <laughs> is this your starting area? Um, I'm not sure. I need to go finish one more quest here. This is the little quest area. It, it's a quest area of some sort, I think. But I need to find. I need to chief. Sharpuk Tomankel's head. Is this him here? No, this is just a regular ass shaman. Now I look upon me, Prime Rugger. This is how your character will look. He's in, in this tent. From now. He's in this big ass tent over here. Oh. Where is fucking this dude? Where is He's in this giant tent over here. Oh, okay. See my cool armor? One day you can only hope to look as cool as this. He's not a warrior, he's a fucking druid. He's not my Tarin son? He's not, not my Tarin son? Nope. <laughs> He's gonna be soon your Tarin granddaddy. He's gonna be luring you up. Shit. He's gonna be like... Like, he looks like my character from behind. I didn't look there from the front. But so as the druid, you're gonna be wearing all his leather shit. Where'd you go? Wait, where the fuck? To this tiny hut right here. No, the big ass tent in the center here. What the fuck? This one. You went into this tiny hut. A tiny tent. Side tent. Is he not a Torrin? He looks like a Torrin to me, yo. I am a Torrin. He's a Torrin, but he's never going to be wearing the armor like you do. Because he's uh, a I see. doctor I need to kill. He's. I have a little um, exclamation point Over in here. the way I'm going right here. Torrin, son, let me know if you need help. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is, uh, what is it called, a hero's journey? 
Wait, no. Did you go in this big ass tent, Hero? Up back here? Yeah, I did. And it, he wasn't there. The uh, the marker. Oh, the marker is right here. There's a marker here. But I'm being attacked by this little fuckwad. And unlike you guys, I don't have massive armor. I'm like basically shirtless. Massive balls. <laughs> <laughs> Even me, the female Should undead. Fight these guys, or do we just kill them for you in one hit? I don't know. I need to. I need to get his head. What is this paper? Is this him, Squealer Thorn Mantle? Yeah. Do you guys see a piece of paper on the ground that I'm reading? Yes. Yeah, there is. Yeah, it's a dirt-stained map. I'm reading it. Uh, Squealer Thornmatic. Where's Sharp Tusk Thorn Mantle? I need his head. Except, do we accept this quest? Fuck yeah. E. Where did you guys put him? He's probably in the big tent. That's probably what I remember. Well, no, the exclamation mark. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, we go back to the big tent, but. What it says? Uh, if I'm looking at it. Okay, yeah, it says I should be going in the direction I'm facing now, which is towards Zitva. Z Zitva. That's a cool looking area, by the way. Yeah. Is that Rugor in front of me walking, running around, preparing to... Oh, no, it's Goulash, okay. Reminds me a little bit of some of the desert stuff in uh, the first Borderlands game. Oh, first this area. We... Where is this motherfucker I need to kill? Hmm. Not just one of these little shaman idiots, no. Need his head. Let me just see if I. Oh, have... I got his head. Someone killed him for me. Okay. Oh, nice. He's just such a, you know, there's this idiot right here. Seemed like such a nothing. Is there a way Chief. to drop a waypoint on the map? Uh, you can ping it like this, but it's temporary. I mean, I need to go. Uh, I don't even know how to do that. I need to go here. You can't see my screen, though. How do I ping on the map? Click on it. Just left click on the mini map. Uh, are you seeing it now? No. Are you, uh, clicking on the mini-map? Or the big map? Yeah, I'm clicking on the main map. No, no, not the main map, the mini-map. Oh, That's... I need to go, um, let's see. <laughs> I'm zoomed out to the max. I need to go... Sec. I need to go this... This way? Yes. To turn in three quests? Back to the town, basically, yeah. Yeah. Should I lead the way, or do you think one of you would make it there faster? It's this way. <laughs> Who am I following? I think down this way, because if the up there was a dead end cave. Okay. I'm just gonna follow Goulash. And I follow Jitva. There's no auto run in this game, is there? Yeah, yeah you, there's an auto follow. You can uh, click on someone and like right click them and go follow. Apparently not. Not when I'm doing it. Click on like their character frame, not the character, but the actual like their uh, health bars and shit. You know. Oh, okay. And should I just uh, follow Ziva? Yeah. Or can we get a train going? Like. Goulash, you follow me, you know, and then Rugor, you follow Goulash, and then Prime Rugor, you follow Rugor. <laughs> Wait, who am I following? Goulash, or, or no, you follow okay, Rugor. I'll follow Goulash. I'll okay. follow Goulash. I'm following Goulash. <laughs> I follow Jitva, but I have, have a mind of my own. I'm not just a mindless train. I like so, um, people will sometimes do botting on this game, where they have, they call multi-boxing. Where there'll be like... Uh, you know, running multiple clients at the same time, and then they'll have their secondary characters following their character, and then they'll actually, like, have some script running that sends commands to their different... They probably will do the multi-boxing as, like, virtual machines on their computer, right? Um, mm. So then, then they send, like, commands to it, and then say, like, all four of my characters cast the spell, and then they all fucking target the same one, and then, you know... You when you encounter those players, you'll see that they're all doing this train shit, where they're like following each other. Hey, hey, Louis. Uh, I mean, 
Uh, smoke screen. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Is that no, a, <laughs> no, that's not acceptable. No, it's fine. Yeah, people, okay, I don't care. My that. name is Louie. Yeah. It's been mentioned on the channel a few times here and there. Okay. <laughs> By accident. I'm, I'm Kevin, not, so I'm just saying. Um, I'm not Rogue, afraid of my name. I'm not afraid of it. No, me neither. I'm fully docs. You can find my address on the internet. You can come visit. Kevin sucks ass, too. You can come visit. Come visit. I mean, you'll either be met with cookies or with a shotgun. Um, but That's the best way, and they're unsure, and they maybe won't attempt it, you know? <laughs> Rogue finally took a shit. Like, a real shit. Amazing. <laughs> and, wow. And she peed on her own twice. Um, I had to like kind of hold her and press her her like belly area. Yeah, but she finally she his dog is in... like pretty old and sick. It's pretty sad, but uh... yeah. But I think she, I I I'm sorry. But I he's excited not because he loves shit and piss. It's because his poor dog was like having, <laughs> was having trouble <laughs> you know, peeing and shitting, and so when it finally did piss and shit properly, he's excited. You know, it's fine. Yeah. Wow. Essentially, like. For for the people who are watching, my dog is old, and my dog does not have long to live. But yeah. we're hoping it's weeks or months rather than days. And I thought he was, you know, I thought he was literally telling this to everyone or wax. Or I thought he was because he really likes shit. <laughs> but uh, we were really worried because she hadn't peed on her own in forty eight, like almost forty eight hours. She was just peeing, and she never did that. Um, but we think that, um, l last week I did something I don't usually do and I boiled some chicken feet and I made her chicken foot broth and I what think- the fuck? Well, it's full of- Chicken collagen. foot broth? Yeah, Asians, Chinese people eat a ton of it because it's full of- Shut collagen. up! Holy shit, I've never even heard of it. It sounds absolutely disgusting. It's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, chicken feet are, are yummy. Except, oh, except once you take the nails off, they're they're really yummy. What the fuck is this? Never... I mean, the weirdest part of the chicken is other than the beak. You're eating the fucking weirdest possible part. Holy shit! Eating the ass is pretty weird too, but people call it. <laughs> My favorite like, oh, part is a uh, chicken a sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but anyway, to finish my story, <laughs> the fact that the dog has has pooped, uh, sorry, peed twice on her own, is basically a pretty decent sign that like she. Well, man. it seems like she just had. She just well. felt like shit, probably Ooh. because she had either pancreatitis or gastro. I'm now friendly with Thunderbluff. I can't believe doing that fucking absolute shit to your level five quest or whatever. Just got me a, uh, because there's factions, and I just gained like to the next tier of faction. Oh, I'm now friendly with Thunder Bluff. Well done. I have to, because I'm from the undead territory, so I'm I'm not like from this part, so I don't start oh. with you know like you guys. Yeah. The two Torrens are from Thunder Bluff, so you start off like on the maximum tier already. But that means that you need to grind my city if you want to be exalted with uh, Undercity or whatever the fuck. Oh, gotcha. With so, the necro weirdos. Uh, low level bristle back belt. Continue complete quest. Choose your reward. Rock mace or elder's cane. What do I want? Um, I don't know. Whatever. Seven to eleven damage versus two to five damage. Do I want to? Am I better off with a two handed weapon? Yeah. Be careful. Uh, That's what I'm doing. I mean, because I can't. I don't think I'm allowed to take a a shield anyway. No, as the druid, um, like because you're doing spells, your weapon doesn't really do anything for you other than the stats it has on it. Like if it has like plus two intellect or something, that would be useful for your druid, you know. But oh, okay. later you turn into a bear, um, and I think your attack power has some influ. I, no, I think even there it doesn't matter. I'm think... completing quests and getting shit that I can't use half the time. Yeah, just sell it. Well, yeah. so this game I was telling Sirius earlier is it has like a player economy. So like, he's, oh, like, yeah, he's asking like, where do I get potions? And I'm like, can I just buy potions from a vendor? And I was like, no, this isn't Gothic 2. This is a fucking MMO. <laughs> the potions are made by other players. So there's a reason for you to make an alchemist character. And then he's like, what about the food and stuff? And I was like, no, the food has to be cooked by players. I mean, you can get some food from the vendors, but it's not ever going to be the buff 
type food. It's one of the basic food. The only unfortunate thing, and please correct me if I'm speaking erroneously, is that you erroneously is <laughs> in error is that you can't actually sell the stuff for real money. Um, legally, websites. Well, so no, I know there are, but like within TOS, I mean. Yeah, well... No, I know it, it happens. I've read all about it. Well, like, I mean, I'm, now it's different because, like, but not in this old, not in this private server, but in the retail version of WoW currently, you have uh, a way to sell gold for real... Uh, actually, no, wait, it's for game time. That's how they did it. That's their little loophole. So oh. they have a way to buy gold. It's like $20 for 10,000 gold. So that's you spend your money there. But then the people in the other direction can sell their gold for a game time token which then saves them the monthly cost right so that's yeah Yeah, but guess what guess what it fucking ruins the whole game it makes it so all the items in the game cost like fucking ten thousand gold and as a normal like low level character you you know you can't buy that shit anymore so it fucks everything so fucking annoying um but what you can do is you can sell those items on an auction house for gold in the game. Like, it's supposed to be about the gold economy, not about real life dollars, you know? Hey, smoke screen. when you're looking at my screen, how does this look for you when I do this? I'm not looking at your screen. <laughs> can the frame rate even keep up? It's too fast, it's, it's... too much. Oh, yeah. Belt. Ah! Shoulders, belt. I don't have a belt. I'm... But so, so when you go to these vendors and you're selling items right now, right? Yeah. What are you selling to them? You just get gold, uh, like a certain amount, right? Like a uh -huh. that's a low amount. But then when yeah. you sell it on the auction house and another player actually buys it on like the in-game marketplace, that's the auction house. Um, you can get a lot more money than the vendors will give you for a lot of different items, but they have to be useful to other players. So yeah. if, if you get some sort of like. Uh, uh, plate armor for a warrior or something like that, but you're a druid and you can't wear it, but it has good stats that, and you, like, it's kind of like good to know how all the classes work, so that way you can know what a good item is, even if you're not playing that class or whatever. So you can know that it's gonna sell. Um, the best items, of course, the most valuable are the ones that are people use for PvP, because they have to be the best, you know? So they'll pay extra for that. Oh, I see, yeah. But on this private server, can you buy gold and just bring it in, or...? Um, there is, I, th I think there is some sort of a... I think there's like a, on this server on Warmain, there's some sort of a system where you can buy, like, mounts for coins or something, and there's a way to... You can even sell your character, like, people sell, like, level 60 max level characters and stuff for these gold tokens or whatever. There's some sort of a coin economy that's separate from the gold. How is Rugor managing to troll me like this? Oh, he's doing the rude. I, I don't know what he's doing. What is he doing? He's doing rude just So if you just click on someone and then you hit enter and then you type slash rude, you'll do emotes. You gotta type, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta type slash before it. I did type For, that. Forward slash or whatever. That rude gesture is like in Europe when you oh, do like the shit. fuck you, it's the fuck you thing in Europe, right? Yo, up to you, finger. Matt. <laughs> this weird elbow move or whatever. Power sucks ass. That's like the fuck you in Europe. <laughs> so, uh, Prime Rogue, Prime Rugger. Yes. Did you get a quest to leave this cursed level 2 zone yet? Uh, let me check my quest. Take the totem of Hawkwind to Bane Blood hoof in blood hoof village follow yes. the road yes yeah. out of here yes all right does the, someone want to lead the way and i'll follow them this way huh over here i'll do it chaga 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 my train is party chat it's like this I, oh, that's okay. that's not you that's some other fucking druid called Buo. <laughs> Just following a random other person over here. My character's so quiet. Listen to this shit. She's so tiny, it's like easy to lose her. Chaga 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 choo choo. She sounds like an old hag. <laughs> Freak show. 
Hey, I'm how following. do they know that I didn't die when I was young? What the fuck? Why do I gotta be an old hag? Oh, just her being in a chronic old, you know, undead makes her sound like that. Vocal cords are, you know. They're like a ghoul from the Fallout games, you know? I never actually played that. <laughs> never played Fallout. Play Fallout 3? Yeah, you did. Nope. I Like, less than an hour. Two hours max. Uh, failure. Failure. But I'm a failure. I never played Skyrim. I never I never played the big one called Skyrim. I never played the big one called Fallout 3. And I never played uh, Mass Effect. Vegas. Mass Effect. Oh, you never played Mass Effect. Well, but that's a whole different... That's totally different. Smells like butts. Oh, what? Oh, someone's got more... Sound bites. Smells like butts. Smells like what? Like butt. Is that Sean Connery? Oh, I see. That's what, I'm, that's what it is. No. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. How, do you? If we kill these enemies, do you, do you gain experience when we kill these, like, uh, creatures around you? What'd you say? Do you gain experience when we kill, like, these low-level things for you? Uh, yeah, I get, like, 20 experience, generally. Oh, good. Is it worth it? You could like, slash them. We could run. Like, let's test it on test it on this one here, this adult playing a strider. Okay. We killed this one. Did you gain anything? Uh, let's see. Yeah, 35. 35? That's a, let's fucking murder the whole place, you know? Okay. I think I do. I get more if I do some damage, too. You actually kill him. Well, so this is one of the things I don't, I don't necessarily like about WoW, but they've made it so they actually disincentivize playing in a party because the reason you're only getting 35 and earlier you're, you were getting more is because uh -huh. we were, like, not near you. And so, like, even if you're in the party, you don't count as being, like, together unless you're close enough to each other. But as soon as we got oh, clo like close enough to you, now you're being penalized for having us with you because you're, you know, because they don't want you to power level penalized. your friends, basically. Penalized. Yeah. And so, the, well, of course, the idea is you can kill them way faster. So, killing four wolves, you know, in the same time yeah, as you kill just one. Charge through, murder everything in sight in like seconds. This would take you minutes to kill. We can do it in seconds. So, I can also be gaining a lot faster. I can also practice healing people. <laughs> Tiny little. Uh, we don't need heals or. Like, our health won't even go down at this point. We're too high level. I just leveled up. Nice. And now, remember your character has special abilities on the user's abilities, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you just unlocked the talent tree. Now you can start putting points into your talents. Like Add it. them to your friends list. Click on the... I don't know how to do that. You know what's sick about those level 60 players who run by and, and like, harass people? That's what they're doing. You are, you're so weak to them, they just run by and go swing, swing. And they find it very satisfying sick. for them, yeah. Which yeah, I hope, sick, though, I like, hope to gank it some feel pathetic. noobs. <laughs> it feel pathetic to them. Yeah, no, they have no honor. They have zero <laughs> honor. This is pathetic, hitting a level 6 wolf and then one, one hit killing him. It's just pathetic, you know? They get off on uh, griefing you and knowing that, like, your time has been wasted and stuff. Especially if they camp yeah. your corpse and stuff. How do I find the, ta oh, talents. What should I pick on the talent tree? Oh wait, I only get to choose improved wrath. Okay. Well, there's actually three trees, so there's. Uh... Oh, well, too late. But so the the three trees for your character are like the healer tree, the the improved wrath is in like the the caster. Hero combat and restoration, yeah. Yeah, so then you're doing like the caster thing tree. You can re-specialize later when you know more about what the fuck's up. I think it's free the first time too. By the way, do you think this uh, WoW remaster here that we're playing, you just could run on like a 20 year old computer or maybe not 20, uh, but 10 year old at least? Yeah, because ten, well, ten we're actually using part. the Wrath of the Lich King client, old version, so yeah. This is not classic, this is not remastered version. This should be, oh, okay, but this should, but, but they have like new, slightly sharper textures and stuff. I, need to target no, uh, I don't know. Did it really look this good normally? Wow. Uh, I thought they remastered the floor textures. I think it's like, textures. like, as the game went along, and as like the th expansion came out, like the Burning Crusade, and then later Wrath of the Lich King, they were improving the graphics over time. So it wasn't just like all of a sudden or whatever. So, and since this is the Wrath of the Lich King client, you're kind of like on that level of 
graphics quality. But the classic one looks even better than this. Like there's I mean, honest, more grass. The, gra the graphics are kind of shit. Yeah, but it's like a cartoony, uh, timeless yeah, sharp, kind of shit, nice you know? For, like, for old school, you know? They're pretty nice. 2005 era. Look at this motherfucker. He's like, nah, I will get my vengeance on their Kodo. He wanted to kill the whole pack. 2004 was my first year of university, you realize. Like, there's no way I would have been playing this because, you know, in Quebec, the drinking age is 18. I was getting fucking wasted, fucking hot bitches, um, doing fun <laughs> stuff. I, was like, I, wasn't gonna I thought you were fat. I thought you were fat. No, it's no I got fat after that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got fat when I started grad school. Put on a ton of weight. Fuck they will not meat. take me seriously here in grad school unless I put on at least 30 more pounds. I mean, I'll be honest with you, my, my, uh, my, out of my grad school class, the only guy, only person who didn't put on significant weight was, like, my friend, I have a gay friend, like, uh, Josh. Josh is the only person who didn't put on, like, me meaningful weight in first He's like, year of disgusting. grad school. He's, <laughs> like, disgusting. Too fat. No, no, no. I mean, all, all the chicks put on weight. Two of them got pregnant and dropped out. Oh, man, it just all falls apart after, after college, in general. It kind of does. I mean, college is... I mean, university, like, undergrad is fun. Party all the time. So are we leveling you? You're leveling fast. So I don't remember when the first expansion came out. Oh, I played I played this game first in 2006, and it was uh, still on vanilla, but it was, like, one of the later versions of vanilla. I don't know when the Burning Crusade came out. I thought Wrath of the Lich King was like 2007 or something. I never played the Burning Crusade first expansion. I just like stopped playing for a bit and then... Some people play this game all the time. I would usually just play it for like a month or two and then I'd kind of stop playing for a year or two and then I'd play it again for a month or two, you know? That's what happens with me in Entropia Universe. Except I have to make sure I log in every year because they will delete your account if you don't play for a year and my account is worth like a thousand dollars. So... A thousand real life dollars? Are you planning to actually just sell it out at the end or what? Oh, you can literally... Like, even the skills you've accumulated because in Entropia Universe, you pay for every bullet you shoot, every piece of, like, deterioration on your, your equipment. You pay... Everything costs in-game currency, which is linked to real money. It doesn't cost much. Um, but, like, some people... Y you could spend a $1,000 a day playing that game if you wanted to. Um, and you'd get an 80%... Normally, you'd get an 80% ROI. Uh, unless you're exceptionally lucky. Let's go into this town here real quick. Yep. Wait, so here's a question. Stop killing all these little five fucking things. Let's go if, kill the level eight fucking things. If he kills an enemy himself... Versus us slaying it in front of him, does it does he get the same amount of experience? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I, I th then in that case, we should always just quickly slash him down. We should murder everything. Yeah. But the only way he would get more, it, there's no point. The only way he'd get more is if he like unpartied from us, um, or right. if we were not close enough to him to count towards the penalty or whatever. Um, I just but, became an apprentice fisherman. But if if he's not in the party, oh nice. If he isn't in a party with us though, by the way. Um, and then we kill the things around him, obviously he's not getting credit for that. And it's even worse than that, if he doesn't do enough damage to them, that, like if he starts, like if he's attacking some monster and then we murder it for him after, he didn't do enough damage to it, he will, won't get any experience either. Yeah, you know, it's better if he just stays partied and we just murder everything around really quick. Yeah. It's but let's go to the, uh, so where's your quest to turn in? There's somebody... Right, I'm delivering the quest right here. Yeah, so look, this is the first... This is like the second town. It's a little bit bigger. Your world is expanded. You're outside of look your... At the, look at the fucking blade on this guy's spear. This is like a Jesus Christ killing fucking Roman spear. Look at that shit. <laughs> that motherfucker. Holy there, shit. There, Fear of destiny. There are theoretically five quests I can take here. Should I take them for like later or tomorrow? Or come back? Or how do uh, that normally You be? can just pick them up and then later... I want this guy's spear of destiny fucking spear, yo. Can I murder him? I'm just gonna pick up all the quests that are here. I would, and... like oh, you don't ahead. you don't have to do all the quests. Like just pick them all up, and then later, like your quest log has a way to show which quests are low level, and like, okay. and then if they're too low level, they'll be gray. If they're kind of low level, they'll be green, and then like the yellow ones mean like they're kind of like your level, and then the orange is like kind of like a higher, more difficulty quest. 
Are the quests not tied to the story? Like, there's no story lore type thing? Um, it's kind of just like, I mean, it is in a way. Yeah, I, <laughs> the way that I play this I'm game is I don't read anything and I just walk up to the guy and go quick up the quest. Okay, yes, go next, you know. I'm Some people are really up. into the lore, so then I, they do want to know the lore, you know. I read pretty much everything when I'm playing a game. Like, it's one of the more fun things for me, so. Yeah, but I wouldn't, uh, like, because we're on five times experience gain, I wouldn't mm -hmm. do every quest, but, uh... Okay. Are you on five times? Yeah, we're. I think we're all on it. All on five times? Okay. It's on default. Did you turn that on, Sirius? No, it's on... Yeah, mine's on default. It's five. Yeah. Yeah, the quests themselves give a fuck ton of experience, because they also give five times. Should I learn a specialization uh, here with... Oh, dual specialization. Is that worth it? Um, you can't get it yet. You need to be level 35. Oh, okay. They're just oh, telling, shit, they're telling you about it ahead of time. I'm level 26 and I've been playing this for shit for like dozens of hours already. Yeah, this character has like three hours and I'm, I'm level uh, 10. Now, serious, imagine, imagine how long this takes. Imagine how long this takes with 1x. That's Holy what I was just shit. about to say. Yeah, imagine that shit on 1x. Yep. Holy fucking! I just realized like 100 hours plus the reach. Well, level so you'd have to do five. pretty much most of the quests in each area before you move on. But now, because we're gaining so fast, you don't really have to do all the quests because you're gonna. If you stick around in like the that first zone, you look. You're, you're already level 10. Usually, you're leaving that zone when you're like level four. If you're doing on yeah. the 1x, um. If you do all the quests here, you're basically just going to be too far ahead, um, and you'd only well, be like, doing the quests for like the the lore. Yeah. Then you hear about those people who had like, uh, you know, like eight characters leveled to sixty. That's like those motherfuckers have spent like. Tw so 30, they play 2, all thousand hours. They definitely don't take like they play all year long. <laughs> My God. <laughs> who has the time for that? It's unbelievable. They make the I, time. I don't know. Make the time. They're addicted. It's like a by drug. sacrificing all work and school and everything else. What did you yes. do, you know, for the last 10 years? I played WoW, like, nonstop, constantly. <laughs> I've met a ton of Web3 people who've met their significant other in an MMORPG. I know at least two people wait, who've wait. met their long-term partner or wife through WoW. Come come back this way. Um, it's pretty cool. So these quests... It's weird. Like just while we're playing now, can we go to the capital city and then you can come back here? <laughs> if you're if you're both exactly into this kind of uh, into this kind of game, into these kind of MMOs, then it's perfect. You can uh, then you have relatable lifestyles, you know. I suppose. Yeah. So I think uh, part of this, the reason that happens in this game is because. Like, a lot of these PvP games... I'm going to sound super sexist here in a minute, but a lot of PvP games were not attracting female players, right? Like, I play this game with my wife, and uh, she enjoys the questing and the crafting and all that stuff. She won't do dungeons, though, and she won't do PvP, that's for sure. But, uh... Dungeons so the fact boring. Like, there's actually a high percentage of girls that play World of Warcraft, and that's why these motherfucking nerds are, are meeting their wives on here and stuff. <laughs> you know? Uh I know, so one story, and I won't name the guy, because I think we probably might all know him. Or maybe not. You guys might not know him. Just, oh, I'll just stop right there. Um, <laughs> he was in a clan with another dude and a chick who lived in a neighboring country in Europe. And his friend from the clan was with this chick. And he, like, romanced the chick online and they somehow organized some kind of putsch to kick the guy out of the clan. And then she divorced him. And then, <laughs> uh, no, and then, then she got with the guy. No. Yeah, I, I, fuck if I know. Yeah, I have a friend who would play WoW with his wife and then some dude like romanced her and then she's like, cause he lived in a nearby city and then she ended up divorcing him and leaving him with three kids. She's a oh whore. My. From Wham. From WoW, yeah. Brutal. A whore. Brutal. What a whore. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's kind of crazy too. So, a wow whore. A wow whore. Crazy whore. The worst, the best kind. I don't know. Well, so, but the thing is, like, okay, he's, he's never gonna watch this, but it's like he's kind of a beta a little bit, and so like 
the yeah. guy she she you know gave, gave her an opportunity to meet other dudes and then this guy's like probably chatting it up and chat you know a chat chad and then you know yeah so maybe it was inevitable that it would happen i don't know probably sounds like it. yes it kind of does sound like it honestly yeah but it's just a, a opportunity for it's her to meet other much. dudes it must be fucking weird, like, especially if, like, say, if you have no idea what the person looks like. Right. And then you meet them, and they have a tiny yeah, dick. By then, they would have maybe shared a photo or two. <laughs> I don't know. A dick pic or two. She's like, okay, he's got a huge dick. <laughs> there we go. Seen as the character upgrade, in upgrade. The game I'm gonna ass. level up my dick size. Right. Peter, Peter Potts sent a dick pic to my wife. What? <laughs> I'm joking. Well, I mean, he, he sort of sent a dick pic to my wife. It wasn't, a, it wasn't an actual peanut. I mean, not a human dick pic. And a big tar in. Well, my wife was asking. What the fuck? <laughs> it's just getting dark. <laughs> getting to the roots of the arch nemesis, uh, you know, hatred and the root of cause of the... Start again? I forget. My wife was trolling him. It's like, all right, you asked for it. Yeah, that was exactly it. It was it was that, basically. And, and this Ooh, my wife just did, and then Peter Potts made a very um, interesting uh, drawing. Look, look up here real quick. Look above us. I was going to say, oh, look, shit. you see that bluff over there? Or the plateau yeah. or whatever? That's I was going to see a spaceship. That, well, yeah, and then I was going yeah, to say, look at the bluff, but then space there's a pyramid. fucking flying space pyramid. Yeah, so that's only here because of the... The coming, uh, Burning Crusade They're expansion. Coming, and they should call it the coming. Oh, you know what else? You see this little cart right here? Rival of the wizard. This is an evil pumpkin. That's still recharging. Let's murder everything in this zone. Did I just get wrecked? No. No. Where are you? Right here, off the road, next to you, behind you. Oh, okay. Um, over this little hill. <laughs> See these carts over here? Yeah. Uh, this Halloween? is... It's a thing. It's a fair. Uh, some sort of a fair. Traveling fair thing. It's coming. So they're setting up. So they have the tent. The little carts here for like a week. And then next week it'll start. Or something like that. So all these little weird like events that happen throughout the game. Like based on well, the, the calendar. The fair is coming. Try to make it so that it feels like there's shit happening in the world. You know? So these, yeah. there's like a weekly, monthly event type things. They'll have like a Halloween thing. They will have a Christmas thing and a uh, Valentine's Day thing, you know? Yeah, Easter. They do, the they do very similar things in Entropy Universe where like some of the staff will come in and they'll have like organized like uh, hunts and other things, raids. And they'll spawn like the craziest, hugest monsters you could think of. Um, and yeah, it's kind of fun. But you see, look up here on the yep. on the right there. See those yeah. rope bridges? Yeah. This is your homeland. This is your capital city. We're approaching. Oh, <laughs> how many capital cities are there? Uh, there's uh, right. one for each faction, but two of them share the factions or share the city. So like, there's four races on each side. Like, uh, you're a Torin, and so they have their own city. This city, Thunderbluff. Uh, the undead has Undercity, and then the orcs and the trolls shared the capital city of Orgrimmar, which is kind of considered the main capital city in a way. Um, and then on the Alliance side, they have Stormwind, which is the human city, and then they have Iron Forge, which is dwarves and gnomes, and then they have uh, the Night Elf city, Tel Teldrassil, which is a giant tree that they live oh, inside. Okay. <laughs> You're arrested. Being arrested Iron Forge is cool. It's a fucking mountain in built into the side of a mountain. This else? That's, that's a cool. It's a cool one. Cool name. Iron Forge. There's a giant forge in the center of it with lava coming down. <laughs> well, I'm amazed. Is there isn't there an Iron Forge in uh, Game of Thrones or Lord of the Rings? One of those two doesn't? Don't they have an Iron Forge? Quickly, get off the elevator, Prime. Nope. I think that's a name that they would have taken in one of those. <laughs> I missed the getting off. God damn it. <laughs> uh, is the dude murdered in the water here? What the fuck? 
Is there a murder Tauren under the water right here? Just floating. I don't know. Mischief. Awesome. Sometimes there's like rogues that are mis mischievous rogues, you know? So it looks like mischief happened here, yeah. I, I can assure you the rogue is asleep. Huh. Your rogue. <laughs> the dog's name is Rogue. <laughs> What, uh, what to do in this city for him? Where are y'all at? Right here. You went up the are. gondola. Did you come up the gondola? Okay, very good. Here you are. So the main uh, thing here is like, look how many more shops there are. And there's all these, also there's other players around and stuff. There's quests. Here's the auction up. house, which is why these people are kind of hanging out here. These oh. are auctioneers or whatever. So if you talk to this dude, that brings up the I whole auction house been interface. Been uh, that's near the red things? No, uh... Ahead. No, just where you were. Where'd you go? Ah! You, sorry, over here. You were just trying to say it's nice oriented. stuff. See all these blue dudes over here? The blue names in front of us? Uh, these, yes. These are players, and they're talking to this other guy here, standing in front of the tent. Aux oh, Auctioneer Stampy. Auctioneer Stampy, yep. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So you talk to him, he'll have, like, this auction interface open, and you can browse for things. At my level, is it at all worth au buying anything at auction or selling anything at auction? Um, yeah. Like what? Even level 10, you can find stuff. Um, you can just search, like, uh, if you click armor. Why is mm -hmm. it? Hold on. Uh, this shit's sticky sometimes. Armor, armor leather. like, leather, yeah. And you can do, like, you can't find a head armor at this level, but you can find, like, uh, or shoulder armor is also not available at your level, but chest and waist and legs, feet, wrist, hands, all those. Oh, uh, I see. And then yeah. you can click the checkbox at the top that says usable items. That'll make it filter down yep. to only your level. Oh, I see. Okay, or you can yeah. do a level range. You could type in a level range. Like to yeah, I can't, I can't, there's no way I can afford anything. Yeah. But you can start selling certain things. Um, um, there's right a, now I have stringy wolf meat, frayed robe, small leather collar, and bent large shield. I think this is all crap, right? Yeah, so the items that are have a name in gray are kind of like telling you that it's trash yeah. and nobody will oh, buy that okay. shit. Um, the white items are still relatively crappy, but they can be like a crafting item. But if it's like a glove or something, a white glove, probably you can't sell it to players. That's not true all the time, because sometimes they're like cosmetic that people yeah. want it or something, but... Um, What's this guy asking in the chat? WTB care with 1,100 gold, I'll pay 30 copper. What? The fuck? Want to buy is, is WTB. Want to buy character uh, with 1,100 gold. I'll play 31 copper. Yeah, he's a joke. Is that a joke? Joker. <laughs> he's a fucking joker. Oh. Or, or, if they might be referring to the coins, like the secondary currency things, 31 coins. You oh, know? I see. Oh. I think he's talking about that, actually, because they have this whole uh, outside economy in, on War Main. Oh, I gotta get a fishing pole, because I'm specialized in fishing now. Yeah, wait, so... Do you see this druid over here? Here's uh, one sec. here's your future. Wait, where is he? Uh, Back to where the auctioneer guy was. Okay. There's like I'm a right. ca there's like a cat in front of the auctioneer, right here. Yeah. That's the druid. Oh, he just fucking disappeared. That motherfucker. I saw it. That, so that's not his pet. That's the actual druid. Yep. He turns into a cat. So Who's like. The at first, you'll be able to turn into a bear, and then later you'll be able to turn into a cat, and then, not in this expansion, but in the first one, you'll be able to turn into a bird, which is like your, like the flying mount equivalent. You can, uh, like everyone can get a flying mount, but the druid turns into a bird, which is like, oh, that can be very helpful, I guess. Right? Slight advantage because it's instant cast versus the mount is like two or three second cast or something. It makes it it's enough of a difference that people who like to farm. Uh, like uh, herbs and ore and stuff will use the druid just because of that extra oh. tiny speed difference because then they can land they, they're flying around they land they pick up the thing and they fly off immediately mm -hmm. 
versus having to spend two seconds to mount up every time. It I, makes I a difference. Chose, I chose Fisher person because I like fishing IRL. Is that a good specialization or is it shit? So certain uh, professions like fishing are they don't count as like one of your two main professions. So like cooking, oh. fishing, and first aid, everyone can do. They're like called secondary professions. Um, but so then you need to pick like two primary professions or whatever, mm. which is they have two kinds of that. They have the crafting kind and then they have the gathering kind. Gathering is uh, skinning, herbalism, or mining, basically. And then uh, the crafting ones are like the equivalent to use those. So like alchemist uses the herbs, uh, the leather worker uses the skinning, and then the blacksmith uses the, the mining stuff. But you don't have to do the gathering profession exactly because someone can be like, for example, a skinner and a miner, and they collect all those resources and then they sell them on the auction house. And then someone else could be like a leather worker and blacksmith and just buys all the materials and never harvests anything themselves, right? Oh, I got you. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to make money, a lot of times people will just take two harvesting professions. And you can also hmm. switch it up later too. You could change your profession, but then you lose all the progress in it. Yeah. Um, in general, people do the two that match though. Like you would probably might do skinning and leatherworking or something. I have a uh, 50, five zero minutes before I'm planning on going to sleep. Um, <laughs> is there something we can do in that time or are we just gonna chill here? Cause I don't want to cramp you guys like either. Uh, Cause I go, I'm gonna go to sleep at 4 a.m. my time, which is in an hour, like almost basically, well, there or take, give or take. Yeah. I just wanted to show you, like, basically this area. Um, okay. I don't, you're not really high enough level to do the stuff with us yet, like the level right. 20 stuff. Um, we could help you with some of the quests. We can go back to where this Bloodhoof village or whatever, and just. I, mean, I don't want to cramp. I don't want to cramp y'all style either, though. Well, but if we go do our own thing, we're just gonna be keeping ahead of you in level, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. So you've leveled from four to ten in the last like few minutes because we're just slashing everything around you. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm down with that if you guys don't mind. Just and, fucking around for and minutes. yeah doing the quests might be faster because then you can just you get a lot of points for the quest but it might be even faster just to kill shit um yeah i mean i was thinking that and i can easily do quests tomorrow if you guys don't have the oh, quest number. one thing though before we leave here oh wait i'm just going to pick up a quest right here i'm not leaving oh, okay uh yeah go ahead is that oh you? wait the quest is at the bottom okay oh yeah. fuck oh he's he's like i'm not leaving he's running straight quest. for the elevator i ain't leaving and going straight for the exit elevator what? i mean i thought he was gonna be at the t end of the pier or something i think he's down down below right or i don't know yeah i think he's right down below at the end of this so this pier. might not be that useful now but later this will become relevant like there's a flight master in the town and like if you don't talk to him now and then you go to a different town later, you won't be able to fly back here because you didn't pick up the oh. connection point here. <laughs> Is this a death fall? I'm going to try it. That's like a portal, right? Uh, they f you have to... It takes time. Like It's not an instant thing. But it is okay. it is basically fast travel, but it's slow travel, if that makes okay. sense. What if I walk it off the edge here carefully and see if I die? Oh, there's no careful... Holy shit, you know how much health I had? Uh, like 25 from 982. Yeah. Holy right. shit. Trains flying beast to carry passengers, blah, blah, blah. Got a special achievement for saying, um, almost died from a fall, but not like, not, not quite, you know? You got a special nice. achievement. Nice, maybe I should that. jump down too. It says, I don't know. Special achievement. Locations connected to this one. Right, well, exactly. Because you haven't been died. to any other city, but if you would have gone to another city and then. You know, then you wouldn't have this one. You wouldn't be able to connect back here. So oh, okay, so I picked up this one just by talking to him. Yeah, but there's nowhere else to fly to from here, which is why I was saying it's kind of maybe pointless to do this. But am I safe jumping off of this? Yes. <laughs> oh, kitty! Oh, only a hundred. Wow. Okay. That's not realistic. Mm, I'm not hard. powerful enough to jump off this fucking giant mountaintop. You can kill barely live. I, I did that. <laughs> How can you heal? Oh, you're a healer, right? Okay. Yeah. So. Where are you? God damn it! I fucking hate this part. Oh, there you are. Okay. Did you want to? Uh, do you want to worry about this stuff later, like picking up your professions and choosing that stuff? 
yeah, I can I can deal with that and ask you for advice as I go. Okay, let's just go back to the, the quest thing. I just kind of wanted to just see this town. Yeah, cool. Oh, and look, look, can we get a screenshot right here? <laughs> of what? Just stand right there in the the uh, giant totem pole behind you. Oh yeah. Badass. Peter, where's your where's Peter? Peter for the screenshot. What the fuck? Exploring this village. Where is he? He's coming. He's coming. I see him running toward us. There's Rugor. <laughs> All right, I need the perfect, perfect, like I'm uh, the big guy in the back. Prime Shrine's <laughs> gift. <laughs> All right, like this then. Yeah, it's like this. Fuck, I gotta stand in the middle, actually, because the camera is locked on me. Yeah. Flex. We played it to Look at that fucking Nox from us back there floating. Of course, I'm not actually taking screenshots. I'm just if I, I'll t clip it out from the video. Oh, okay. How is Rugor dancing? Yeah, I click on the chat button thing and then emote and then dance. What? How does that work? Emote. I can't see the emotes. Uh, there's like a if you click that little chat bubble to the left of the chat box. There's yeah. like a, it'll oh, if okay. you hover over emotes, it'll bring up a list of emotes. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Go straight from dancing to crying. <laughs> hey, Rogi, are you feeling better, pretty girl? What is yell? In the emotes. Where's yell? So that one, you, it's not actually emote. It's like uh, you, um, you type text and then you'll yell it in red text, which will have a slightly higher range of um, carry. Like <laughs> if you type normally, like if you type like this, then this like text box above me, people will see it in their chat log from a certain distance away, right? Like they have to be kind of close to you. The yell thing, mm -hmm. they can be a lot further away and they'll see it. Plus, it'll be in red. Um, what the fuck? Oh, and I don't I hate how there's like a key that I push that resets my fucking chat. It's so annoying. It's the fucking A. And the end. I can't even talk. I literally can't fucking chat because of the shit. Your wife runs my balls. All I can do is say what the oh, fuck. fuck. So that right there, you were talking. That's in uh, party chat, which yeah. uh, no one can see that other than people on your party. Which is like, um. If you click on the where it says party, it'll switch it to party chat. You can type slash p. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in the I'm in party chat already. So to go out of that, if you want to talk, then you can type slash s for regular say. Oh, okay. And then it'll switch Got back it. to regular speech mode. And then if you do slash yell, you can just do the yell. Yeah, there you go. Um, what am I yelling? Uh, what the fuck? Rug, 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 rug. <laughs> a tiny pixel. Yes, and then everyone's like, what the fuck in the town or whatever. But there's barely anyone here because most people hang out in the Orgrimmar capital because oh. it's kind of like players decided that that's the most capital of capital cities, you know? Right. How many people do you think play on this server versus the official Blizzard one? Um, This is a pretty good population server like um it's only like five thousand players though but uh on world of warcraft official they have like multiple servers with ten thousand or twenty thousand players so that's the main difference with the 
the official ones is they're usually about the same population ish, but they're like they have way more servers, right? Yeah. More realms, I guess they call it. Um, but then one of the main differences though is that they do this instancing shit where they split the players up so to to make network load lower or whatever they they will split the 10,000 or 20,000 players into like a thousand each or something like that right and then they phase you into different instances of the same town and then so you, sometimes it'll lead to things like you're looking for someone and they're not they can't see them and shit because they're in a different version of the town but if you mm -hmm. join their party then you're forced into the same instance and then you know sometimes you'll see people messaging in chat saying like Please, I need an invite into Instance 1. I don't like how I'm in Instance 2. Please, please, somebody help me. There's nobody here. <laughs> um, so then, but that was like something they added later in the game. Um, and so then the, in these older versions of WoW, because we're playing like a literally an older version of, of it, yeah. the version 3.3.5, um, they didn't have that shit yet. And so then, even though there's only 5,000 players on here, it will seem more active just because you're actually like, if we go to Orgrimmar, capital city, um, there would be like a few hundred players running around and you'd actually oh. see them even though on the other official servers you might have more players but you won't see them all it's like what, where the fuck are these other players <laughs> so I think the population on these servers is definitely enough to where you encounter enemy players enough for PvP and you see people in towns all the time and you see them in all of the different levels of questing hubs or whatever Definitely not empty. No. Um. Mm. Uh -huh. Let's go uh, do some questing, though, eh? Yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs>